Two of my favorite action cameras are the Firefly 8S and the Thai T5 Edge. Over the last month and a half, I've been using these two cameras while traveling, and I think I've decided on a winner. I'll just say it right away, it's the Firefly 8S. There, now you don't have to watch the rest of the video, right? Well, stick around if you want to find out why. The Thai IT5 Edge and the Firefly 8S are both capable cameras with their own strengths and weaknesses. The basics such as user interface, battery life, and build quality are similar between these two cameras so we're not really going to go over them. Whether or not you like the user interface will be up to you and I recommend watching one of my full length reviews of these cameras in order to see more and decide which is the one you'd prefer. The strong point of the Firefly 8S is its 60 frames per second modes. The 1080p60 is clean, colors are fairly vivid, and it has image stabilization. What that means is if you are capturing fast action and you want to slow it down in post-production, everything will look smoother compared to a camera that shoots at 30 frames per second. The Thai T5 Edge on the other hand has image stabilization up to 4K resolution, but all of its usable resolutions are 30 frames per second modes. The 1080p60 mode isn't as sharp as the 1080p30, and that means video doesn't look as smooth. The other thing worth noting is that the T5 Edge does not offer 2K 60 frames per second or 1080p 120 frames per second if you want to do super slow mo. The only slow motion mode it offers is at 720p, and it doesn't look very good. It almost looks like it's being upscaled from VGA. So here's the thing, it seems like it should be fairly cut and dry. If you prefer a higher resolution with stabilization, that would mean you should go with the Thai IT5 Edge. However, if you prefer the 1080p60 modes or the high frame rate modes, then the Firefly 8S is the camera for you. Well that's why I ended up bringing both cameras, there'd be times when I wanted the resolution and there'd be times when I wanted the frame rate. In many situations, I actually preferred the more vivid and vibrant color and over sharpening of the Thai IT5 Edge to the slightly softer and cooler color of the Firefly 8S. So it was the camera I was using the most up until I started playing it back on my computer. The big issue with the Thai IT5 Edge and why I'm not continuing to use it day to day is the audio. When the camera is held out in front of you, if you're speaking to it, the audio occasionally peaks and that causes it to crackle and it just doesn't sound very good. For example, when I'm walking through this marketplace here in China, the audio should be real nice but let's just hear a comparison between the T5 Edge and what my smartphone picked up. Outside of my hotel, and I'm about to take you on the Dogmen Pedestrian Street, which is one of the major shopping districts here in Shenzhen, China. And let me just say, it is something else. I've never been anywhere like this. So let's switch cameras and I'll give you a look, okay? Every single business has music, has sound blare, there's people talking, there's dancing, there's screaming, there's it's uh it's crazy. The only thing that you don't really get here is the honking. As you can see, the T5 Edge audio is basically unusable. And I found that in order to get usable audio with this camera, it required very specific circumstances. For example, if I was holding the camera out front of me and talking about what was going on, I couldn't talk very loud. I had to almost whisper. Otherwise, it would crackle and pop and sound pretty bad overall. The audio on the Firefly 8S isn't really that clear. It's not as loud, but on the other hand, it doesn't crackle and it doesn't pop and that makes it more usable because you can just boost that in post. One of the interesting things about Christchurch is that it hasn't yet recovered from the 2010 earthquake. There's a bunch of city blocks that are just abandoned because they're no longer safe to inhabit. One of the interesting things about Christchurch is that it hasn't yet recovered from the 2010 earthquake. There's a bunch of city blocks that are just abandoned because they're no longer safe to inhabit. If you're primarily using the T5 Edge inside of the waterproof case, the audio gets muffled enough that this doesn't matter. 
However, if you're planning to use the camera as a walk and talk camera or as a vlog camera and have it outside of the waterproof case, then this is a pretty big deal. So now that you've watched these samples and listened to me talk, let me know in the comments which camera you prefer, whether it's the Firefly 8S or the Thai IT5 Edge. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe.